Hey, man. How are you guys? Good, buddy. How are you doing? Good. Real good. Before we get started, how's your little Tara? She's still running the roost? Oh, yeah. Well, um, you know, we're, we're really excited to hear about your story. What can you tell us? Well, January 23rd, 2015, uh, it was supposed to be a routine arrest that I've made 100 times over. A van rolled past me, and I ran the license plate on it. He came back with three misdemeanor warrants. I approached the driver and asked him if he was the registered owner of the vehicle. And yes, I am. I asked him if he knew he had the warrant. He said yes. I asked him to put his hands behind his back. I asked him again. He still didn't comply, so I grabbed the front of his coat. Get up. Get up. I released my left arm to radio for backup. And I went to radio that I'd been shot, and I'm telling my left arm to move, and it just wasn't moving. Where did the uh, bullet that impacted your vest hit you? My left torso. It would have been basically a double lung shot. So he he fires three or four more shots at you, jumps back in the van, and he's getting ready to take off. And Right. I realized I wasn't going down. He fired off maybe five more rounds at me, started to take off, and the backup officer pulled in behind the van. The suspect put his vehicle in reverse, and then gunfire just erupted. Well, then I saw the suspect come to the front of his van, drop the magazine, and reload. He stumbled out and collapsed, and we got him into custody. Wow, Mike, that's, uh, that's an incredible story. Well, my wife, I convinced her that statistically, this would never happen, you know? Um, and now I'm trying to, I have to convince her that statistically, this will never happen again. <laughs>